Welcome back guys. Today we're doing something that I've been wanting to do on the Forester for a while. It's actually something I attempted on the STI. We're going to be polishing the headlights because the Forester headlights are actually pretty bad. But here, let's take a look at my STI headlights first. So this is one of the better ones. We actually did polish this quite well. As you can see, it looks pretty darn good. This one is not so much. So as you can see, it's foggy, it's got a lot of scratches, and it actually had or still has a film on it. I'm not sure what the guy puts on. It wasn't like a 3M where you can peel it off. It almost flaked off with like a razor blade. So eventually we are gonna have to try to tackle this or I'm just gonna end up ordering JDM lights for this car because there's an influx of JDM parts for this body style now because they are legal in Canada as of the 15 year law. So we'll be getting a lot more JDM parts and hopefully maybe I can grab some JDM um, HIDs because I do have HIDs in here. They're aftermarket and they're definitely not the right ones. But anyways, let's get on to the Forester. So let's just take a look at what we're dealing with on the Forester. So as you can see, the Forester headlights are really cloudy and they're definitely going to need a good polish. And I'm actually thinking we're going to have to use some sandpaper here because I don't think they've ever been cleaned in their entire life and if we run my nails across them there's lots of little like indents and stuff that would not come out with polish. As many of you guys know I do have a dual action polisher that we are going to be using again to polish the Fozzie and also we're going to be polishing Project Daily pretty soon but right now I'm going to put that aside and just do it by hand so it's something you guys can all do on your cars because I know once you buy a car that's one of the first things you end up doing because a lot of people just don't do it. Today I will be using stuff that you can pretty much grab at any local store. So we'll start off with just some tape to mask around the headlights. Microfibers as per usual. Costco has a, like a massive bag of these and they're the best things ever. And then just some soapy water, some plastic polish, some sealant which honestly this stuff is, I haven't used this yet but we'll be using this on the STI so expect the more up-to-date review on like paint sealant but we'll be using this because it is a sealant and then just some 1000 and 2000 grit wet sandpaper I've had them soak in the water for a little bit because that's what you're supposed to do when you use wet sandpaper and then you're just lubricating it with your soapy water so other than that let's jump right into it so first and foremost you're going to want to protect the paint so what I'm using is just some um, normals painters tape and we're going to be putting it around the whole edge some people recommend just taking out your headlights if they're easy enough I haven't taken out the Forster headlights yet so I'm not going to try but it's just really easy enough to tape them up and I'm not too worried about the paint here the paint is um, below average quality I would have to say. There is a lot of chips and stuff just from the high highway kilometers but this paint will protect it enough that we'll be good to go. Also instead of going around my hood I'm just going to take the hood up and that will just leave this much less I have to tape up. Now comes the fun part. You're going to take your spray bottle, spray the surface right down so it's nice and lubricated. And then you're going to take your 1000 grit sandpaper and then just start sanding away any imperfection. Be sure to keep the surface lubricated because other than that you start to get a lot of fogging. And also try to go one direction. It helps a lot with polishing later down the road. And also you can see that the sandpaper will start to get clogged up and then you just have to go to a different side. And then when you think you're happy with the results or you think it might be good, take your microfiber, wipe it down and see what you got. And see if you have to continue or not. So here I want to check for any imperfections along the lens. Okay, there's a few, so I'm going to continue sanding and then once we got this, we'll go down to the 2000 grit. Now once you wipe it down, it's going to look like you made it a lot worse, but what you want is a nice uniform appearance and you want it to be nice and smooth. So these headlights actually didn't take a lot of, lot of rock chips because they're like glass smooth, which I'm really impressed. As you can see, you get a lot of like this white powder, which is literally your old headlight. So now you're going to go down to the 2000 grit sandpaper before polishing. It just makes it a little bit easier. And you're going to do the same process, wet it down with some soap. Take your wet sandpaper that's been soaking and just go one way for a while until you get it nice and smooth. You're going to have to 
dry it a couple times to check and see if there's places you miss because when it's wet like this it's really hard to check. Once it looks like it's fogged up quite a bit and it looks even, you want it to make sure that it looks even all across. You're going to take, I'm just going to try some plastic polish. If this doesn't work, I have some other polishes I can use. But we're going to try this because this is readily available at pretty much every automobile store there is. So I'm going to put some on and apply it like it says. So just, it doesn't say really to rub it on, but I'm pretty sure this is abrasive substance. So the more you like scrub it pretty much the more polish you're going to get. Okay so all it really says is apply, rub, take off. So we're going to try and see how well it might just be me but that looks really clean. We're going to try to apply some more because I'm running out of it and maybe it's working as well as I thought it would. Okay so there's some applied. Let's see, take it off and see what it looks like. Wow look at that guys. That actually works really well. So there's like no surface scratches. Actually, I'm getting oil from my hands on the lens. So as you can see right here, it works quite well. So what we're gonna do is pretty much do the same thing. Apply it, rub it, and then take it off with a clean part of our towel. There we go, it is all polished. Technically you could be done this step and just leave it like this, just with the cleaner on it. But just to finish it off, we're gonna use some of my sealant. So here it says just apply it using your typical like wax stuff and then wait half an hour and then remove it with a microfiber and we're all good to go. So this is the last step, so let's apply that and then we are ready to do the other one. And I'm actually so impressed how well these come out. There's a couple weird imperfections like right here I couldn't get out and right here. I bet you if I use the um, buffer I could probably get more of it out. But honestly these are really good for done by hand. So I'm just using your normal wax applicator, just a little foam thing. And we're just going to cover the whole thing and then let it sit for half an hour. So just wipe off any things and then we're going to take this and just go like this. And apply it over the whole headlight. Theoretically you could apply it twice if you really wanted a good seal but I'm just gonna go with this because this is the daily and I'm not super 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 picky. I do like my cars super clean but I'm not crazy picky. So there we go. I think we got the whole headlight. You can kind of see it in the sun and now we're just gonna let it sit for half an hour. Now that we got this headlight completely done, we're going to quickly jump over do the other one and we'll do that in the time lapse. That's probably only going to be like 30 seconds. Then we'll get back to pulling the sealant off of this and examining our final product. This headlight I'm going to use a polisher and we're going to do time lapse so let's go jump right into it. Time for the moment of truth. So our sealant has dried. It's, as you can see, it's hazed over, and it probably didn't have to take half an hour because it's in the sun. But I just gave it the full half an hour. So let's go ahead, take a polishing rag, and just take it off. Look how shiny that is. There's still like imperfections, as I said, but it looks 100 times better than it did before. And actually, I want to see how the sealant works because this is what I'll be putting on Project Daily when we polish it. And as one final step, time to pull off the tape and just clean up around it because as you can see, the powder or the r headlight residue actually leaves quite a bit of marks. So I'm just going to spray some quick detailer and then we're finally done the headlight restoration. We finished the headlights and that one is just drying with the sealant but this one's 100% done and it just makes such a huge difference of having cloudy headlights to having these perfectly clear. There's, as I said multiple times, there's some imperfections, but overall for like a quick job, that was really good. But I did forget one thing. So this Forster has fog lights. So what I'm gonna try to do is just quickly do the same thing here and they should end up something like that. So there's a lot of chips on these fog lights. 
I'm probably going to end up even putting a yellow tint over them because that's what most Subaru owners do. Um, but to get these all these chips out, I'd have to go to like a 600 grit. And that's going to be a pretty big process, so I think I'll just leave it for now. It does look better than it did before, as you can tell. But since I have the polisher out right now, I thought we might as well take a journey to the back of the car and just even clean out and take off some of the oxidization here. Even though these are actually pretty clean. Just like super quick, super easy. So they should probably end up some looking something like that. So as you can see, they're much shinier. There's still some scratches, but it just like brought out the oxidization and made it just a little more shinier. Did the same to this one right here. Now I'm just gonna put some sealant on it and then we're pretty much done for today. And there it was, that was the final sealant on the headlights so we finally completed the headlight restoration on the Forster and holy does it look so much better look at that compared to the cloudy yellow lights that were there before as I said it's not perfect there is some imperfections on both lights but it's something I can live with and it's way 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 better than it was before so there you guys go you can restore your headlights in probably a couple hours and a little bit of cash with some polish, some rags, and some other stuff, and you can get your headlights pretty much exactly like this. Actually, you can get it like this, because that was all hand done. I did use the polisher for here, and then I did try with the fog lights, but as I said, they're just really chipped. That is it for today, so I showed you guys exactly how you can improve your headlights dramatically with no more than a few dollars and a little bit of time on your hands. But other than that, peace out, and stay humble.